Namaskar. So today we will be discussing the research and publication ethics, module 6, databases and research metrics. So in this module, we will discuss on the module 6a databases and we will try to convert the citation databases, web of science and scopus. What is the citation databases? So what is the citation databases introduction? Indexing is the art of organizing published literature from journals and other publication so that knowledge dissemination becomes hassle free for scholars indexing efforts to the identifying or pointing or for something. So why indexing for the researchers? Because an index primarily saves time and makes knowledge accessible for scholars, researchers and academicians. So indexing began the pre-printing era with the discovery of the printing process and indexing has advanced and taken great leaps off with a local assistance. So what is the citation indexing? It is an indexing of citation that helps to understand that there is a presence of another work in a particular work. So what is a legal citation? It is another, it is a, it is the mother of all citation indexes. It gives the list of all the authorities citing a particular case, structure of other legal authority, one of the most used in the Shepherds or Garfield citation which helps to one know if any cases has been overturned, questioned or cited by later cases. So the begin as a publication of a series of indexes in different jurisdictions by a the father of Robert Busa is known as the father of computational linguistic and ran in 1873. You can Garfield, all of you know that you in Garfield is the mother of indexer and inspired by the former colonist, historian, Chonesi Nick, and conducted thorough analysis of a review of an article and their cited references. He did this to track the discoveries and medical procedures to record it in the journals. He founded the Institute of Scientific Information ISI in 1960. So, what is the citation databases? Citation databases complete the citation in the references list of bibliographies of a scholarly publication. Why use a citation databases? Citation databases enable you to find newer papers that reference a paper or author you already know about you might want to do this is order to in order to find out more person papers on a topic trace how the idea has been confirmed applied extended for the corrected in a later publication see which other researchers are citing your work or the work of your lab mates find the citation numbers and metrics to report on a job or a grant application or evaluations etc. So review of the literature of this, review of the progress in this module if you would like to compare the features of Web of Science, Scopus and Google Scholar, Scholar. Because all of you know that if you want to give the research metrics, you always use this kind of tools. So the concepts thought about the citation searching and analysis generally are applicable to all citation databases. Purpose of indexing, an index helps researchers to track information easily. So we do not compare of these things, we do not recommend that you should use Web of Science or you should only use the Scopus or you should only use the Google Scholar because all are comparable literature, how they are indexing from the different databases, how they are connected with the different publication publishers. So these are the, how they are making build their, what you call their databases. That is most important part of this thing. So it's not that the comparable because 
everyone is using the same kind of technique so but how much resources they are giving that is the important give you the indexing benefits so benefits of indexing they help in completing the data map or organize the information it can increase the visibility and quality of one's publication knowledge dissemination on a wide scale three major databases of influentials we have know that web of science scopus and google scholar some other databases such as sciFinder scholar in chemistry psychoinformation pubmed allows citation searching of similar sets of journals and journals in the place in a specific then some of these are biological based like pubmed is biological based sciFinder is a chemistry based chemical biological based or chemical science based and then journals so once we do these things we have to know what is the journal's impact factor so journal's impact factor is the most important area of this we should know and how to do this the ws man web of science provides complete citation data back in 1900 making it in the most accurate for identifying the core or classic articles published before 1996 and the journal impact factor has been used as a benchmark in the biomedical sciences for several decades although the research benchmarks are evolving it is likely that most research scientists will be asked at some point to report his journal impact factor of the journals in which they publish So indexing agencies, indexing agencies help you to optimize your research and also help you to locate your information in a specific domain. Their main focus would be quality and easy access. The following are a few indexing agencies that are known for a quality work and help researchers in navigating information. So Web of Science. ISA Web of Science is the world's largest science journal indexing agency. They began as an ISA Web of Science, and later in the 2016, they changed their name to Clarivet Analytics, and it was first found in the Eugen Garfield. And they started as a small citation database. Now they have more than 1.7 million cited references across over. 159 million records so that has to be consideration the scopus was formed by lcvl in the year 2004 and they have been into the indexing and citation sciences in 1880 with around 3000 journals and it has around 40500 now it has around 40500 journals books and proceedings in the databases and if the journal is indexed in a scopus once then it is indexed forever then all rich periodicals directory it is since long back martin said index 1932 and databases that index magazines journals and serial publications throughout the world and this dictionary was published in print version from 1932 we used to a librarian library both people is to refer this all rich periodicals before buying any serial periodicals or serials then oclc or online computer library center is a run by the american non profit organization and their major focus is to make information cost free and accessible to the public it is also founded by oyo college library center so then google scholar google scholar is a web search engine that indexes abstract and full text information on a scholarly articles and research from different domains so abdc australian business dean council this australian business council dean council is academic community guided by business deals in australia scopus and web of science comparison strength and weakness we don't compare but still just give you the guideline in modern sciences the assessment of the effectiveness of researcher activities often implies the use of scientometric indicators they are calculated based on scientific publication the information which is commonly stored in the bibliographical databases so what is web of science the title publications year of publications author 
what is in scopus scopus is also online resources information and gives you what is the scopus there is scopus and books australia collection of business and monographs all these things are covered of web of science and uh, things what is the difference between the scopus and web of science web of science and scopus share a lot of common features nevertheless these databases have couple of significant differences for instance the web of science databases allows the deeper search or published paper during the back to 1900 whereas the scopus covers more modern materials so besides the topic research is also important while web of science collects information on the natural technical and social sciences scopus also has a wide variety of publication in the humanities fields although neither of them consider to be a specialized so these are things you have to know scopus versus web of science which databases is better i would go with you should go and search in the both the places and you will find out the real real, real results so when the comparing the web of science and scopus in academic portals there is no definite answer regarding which database is better most user agree that these platforms complement each other scopus offers a more extensive list of modern sources and additional advantage of the scopus is the implementation of an independent sourcing systems and moreover it is a interface is often considered more user friendly Web of Science, on the other hand, provides the most of the in-depth citation by source. Another advantage is the AWS systems availability of large volumes of scientific literature published in the past. Both systems are subdivides the sources into the qualities according to the citation levels. This is so. All these are both performs. are equally efficient and they offer the functionality that allows user to achieve this indices so depends on the goal of the search so calculating the h index so you know that google scholar google scholar is also the launch of google scholar is a november 2008 of 2004 and brought as the simplicity of the google searches you go to the google searches and you can get it and then what is the difference as are you are looking for everyone published on a topic on the most of the important papers all these databases have a large overlap of their over size so this kind of the ws covers many fewer journals than scopus but it shares so scopus covers more journals and more international journals than the open the space so a step by step learning h index in the scopus even although many online platforms often calculating h index Hash index, the Scopus H index search is considered most reliable. Here is the step by step searching the author, first author, and then analyzing the search results. It will give you the Scopus author title page, etc. So these are the step by step approach. You can see the Google Scholar goes back. It also calculate the H index, and using the Scopus, you can find that which what what kind of Scopus is giving the Google Scholar. So all these things you can see and you can compare because if you go by particular search on a particular topic, you will find the results of that particular topic. So the research had two motivations: to inform researchers and sponsors. who engage in research in emerging scientific disciplines and who make them face the new ethical challenges and risks so to inform the research sponsors including government officials who wish to encourage ethical research at without understanding so i have given this one so you can see that google scholar what is a coverage what is web of science the scopus and the google scholar if you if the learners goes to the this one what you call your course material or study material you will be able to find these are the differences what is a calculative in a particular search we have made and then whatever the results we got we have given this results searching by author what we have given the results if you go to this one you also put your search one particular area you will find that this kind of search what is the search author and this experience what i have given you then analyzing the search results you can find out the what are the analysis of the results you have to see these are the things we have given this the scopus author profile page if you go you can find this situation so we have signs that in a particular field we have got these many results from this google scholar citation and this web of science so what this times the different search analysis you will give your different area of the search and you will find the what are the different searches are available so i have given just example 
and you can see in this what you call step by step approach in the course material you can do on your own and can find find this kinds of things information so search the author search the reports so citation databases how reports are generated all these things I have seen. Then what is this site score? How can you calculate the site score? How to do this science site journal ranking? All these HS index, all these things I have given this one. So historically citation phenomena of given the citation indexes. What you want to do? If you have to do this H index and citation, we should do this kind of. And then the learner we have given the question and answer. And I think thank you, thank you very much.